As Afghanistan becomes further integrated into regional and international trading networks, the government of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan has taken steps to cultivate a competitive business environment that maximizes the social and economic benefits from Afghanistan's abundant natural resources and agricultural output. With support from the International Trade Center, a joint UN-WTO technical agency, and funding from the European Union under the Advancing Afghan Trade Project, the Afghan Ministry of Industry and Commerce has developed a national trade policy document that outlines key reforms that will enhance Afghanistan's status in the global marketplace. As you know, Afghanistan is one of the eldest countries. At the same time, we are landlocked. And the past decade, we are facing with many challenges in terms of the export of Afghan goods to the foreign market. So the lack of this document was the key challenges. And I really appreciate the ITC and the EU delegation for making available this opportunity to develop a, such a comprehensive document in order to increase the production as well as to export Afghan goods for the foreign markets. The Afghanistan National Trade Policy, or ANTP, provides a five-year roadmap from 2019 to 2024 that defines the trade-related roles of Afghan government institutions, the private sector, and international development partners. The aim of the ANTP is to provide policy-level support for existing strategy documents, such as the Afghanistan National Export Strategy and the National Priority Program on Private Sector Development. Through the implementation of a deliberate trade policy anchored by concrete actions and responsibilities, the Afghan government hopes to direct the economy's productive sectors toward producing and exporting high-value-added products. As a result of efforts to increase domestic production, as well as establish rational and fair import policies, Afghan consumers will be able to access better quality and more affordable goods and services. The ANTP was developed through a series of consultations with participants from the public, private, and development sectors in order to identify existing barriers and bottlenecks in trade and production, as well as the means to overcome them. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uzmanu Khanjana al-Kozade. Uzo yau tujare ma. The Afghanistan the utaqi tujare to sarmay guzare the board gade ma. Aw amdaranga the Pak Afghan the joint chamber raisi ma. Taas to maluma da chhi har hagat se chita harakat ke bidun de yau taglari aw de yau falisi na niki ma. No daga falisi the Afghanistan the tujare the fara yau lazim aw malzum chayau. Shimanga padi palisai bandi mana nak kau dah rupa tu tolari na atau tu dostanu na ham tu tu sana tu tujarat na. Shidae dua tak tujarat atau sarmai guzari serpa mushora bandi jodak lada. Di dadi patut bi kawal ki wakian waridat kamiji atau sadirat diri. At the core of the ANTP are six policy areas where the energy of all relevant stakeholders must be focused in order to achieve success. These policy areas are improving export competitiveness with the objective of removing supply-side constraints affecting exporters and providing export promotion services, increasing domestic production, with the objective of supporting sectors and producers with the potential to supply the domestic market, as well as protecting domestic industry against unfair import competition, rationalizing the tariff regime, with the objective of developing institutional changes for tariff setting, and balancing government revenue generation with industrial development needs, streamlining import and export administration, with the objective of reducing the time and cost to move goods across borders by simplifying import, export, and transit formalities, promoting market access, with the objective of identifying alternative transit routes and ensuring greater access of Afghan goods to regional and international markets, and capacitating trade-related institutions, with the objective of building strong government agencies capable of making time-sensitive trade-related decisions with input from constructive public-private dialogues. I'm Manisha Wafiq, uh, President and Co-Founder of Afghanistan Women's Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I'm very happy that International Trade Center helped our Ministry of Industry and Commerce to develop uh, the first Afghanistan national trade policy, which includes, for the first time, removing barriers to trade for women-owned businesses. And we are hoping that this document will help us to really improve private sector's access to uh, markets outside and within, and women-owned businesses benefit from it. Thank you. The ANTP will support the Afghanistan National Peace and Development Framework, the Afghan government's overarching strategy document, 
as well as Afghanistan's commitments as a member of the World Trade Organization. Through the implementation of the ANTP, Afghan goods will be able to reach more markets, thereby leading to economic growth, job creation, and poverty reduction. By providing an evidence-based, structured, and coherent approach to enhance trade competitiveness, Afghanistan will be able to assume a position on the world stage as an integral and valued partner for trade in the heart of Asia.